In this video, I will show you how you can connect Lovable to NA10. So to do this, what you're going to do first is just open up your NA10 workflow and click on plus. From there, first you want to search for webhook and just select a webhook. Now here for the HTTP method, I'm going to set it to post. Now for the respond, you can choose when it needs to respond, so either immediately when you execute the node, when the last node finishes, using respond to webhook or streaming, also set it to immediately. And now here you have the post URL. Go ahead and click on it in order to copy it. Now open up Lovable and just go to whatever project you want to add this to. For example, I use this dividend tracker right here. And then in the last chat, what you want to do is just tell it integrate to N8N with this webhook. And then you can see it says, I'll add N8N webhook integration to your, in this case, I switched to the invoice generator since I ran out of credits. And then from there, now I'll create a webhook integration component and integrate it into the main app. Now you can switch what that becomes. But for example, if you want to integrate with N8N whenever someone clicks a specific button, you can ask it to do that. And then you can run an automation inside of N8N when that thing happens. And you can see, perfect, I've successfully integrated the N8M webhook functionality into your invoice generator. Here's what it added, pre-configured with your webhook URL, sends comprehensive invoice data including all form fields, totals and items, includes proper error handling and loading states, and uses toast notifications for user feedback. It added the component to the main index page so users can trigger the webhook after filling out their invoice data. Now you can also switch this. For example, you can say when someone clicks on the, in this case, for example, add item button trigger the webhook. And then it will modify the add item functionality right here to trigger the webhook automatically. So first it checks the current toast setup. Now it's just going to build it out. Now for your app, this may be very different depending on what you want to use it for. But in this case, for example, when someone clicks add item, if that happens, then in this case, I want the N8M workflow to run, and that is what I'm building out now. So perfect, I've successfully integrated the N8M webhook to trigger automatically when someone clicks the add item button. Here's what I implemented, so you can see it right there. So now whenever someone clicks add item, add the new item to the invoice will be happening, automatically send the updated invoice data to your N8M webhook, show a success toast notification. So now I can just go and click on publish, and then again publish, and now in N8N, let's just remove this. Then I can add the step that I want to have happen. For example, in Google Docs, I can then create a new document, update a document or whatever else I then want to do. So that's basically how you can connect Lovable to N8N. So what you just want to go and do is create a webhook inside of N8N and then copy the link to it. And in the Lovable chat, just say integrate with N8N with this webhook and paste the link to save some credits. You can also immediately say and have it trigger whenever this or this happens. And then it will already do that as well. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.